you in a little bit. Buddy. Good morning. I'm Randy with another adventure. This morning we're headed to Cherokee National Forest. We're going to Parksville Campground for five days. Come along for the journey. Enjoy the adventure. to the fog. It's a Stephen King novel. There's creatures in that fog. <laughs> Selena, Tennessee. It doesn't have one of those coming around, but... Yeah, it does. Oh, Lord. Yep. Oh, shoot. That snuck up. Mm -hmm. It snuck up on them, too. Very hard to say. Because <laughs> you want to say Megan Bacon. Well. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I kept trying to not say. We have a Christmas tree up already. For... You're at Parksville Campground. It's a pretty nice facility. If you ever here in the summertime, you have plenty of shade, believe me. There's a lot of trees around here. A lot of leaves. But, uh, it's nice. It has 20, 30, and 50 amp. Bathroom facility is right behind us. It has showers, running water inside. So it's not a vault toilet. You don't have to worry about that. But it is a campground. So, we're going to chill out and relax a little bit. Hey, morning. How's everybody doing this morning? It's a chilly morning here. Cherokee National Forest. Key Lake. Beautiful morning. Been out here since about 4.30. Not here, but around the areas. Doing some long exposure photography. Now I'm out here trying to get the sunrise with the cypress trees. It's pretty cool the way the fog is rolling off of here. Enjoy the view.
right, going up to Lowry Falls Trail number 168. We have to cross the uh, highway to get here. And the highway's very curvy, no shoulders, dangerous to get over here. Yep, here we go. To our right, they have a uh, tent camping. To the left, they have RV. That's a group. They got close, tell me why. And this is where we're at, Parksville Campground. Nice little place. There's like 20 spots. This is really pretty back here. Mm -hmm. Besides the garbage tree back there. Yeah. This is road 205. Pretty neat. Everything can't get much wider. No. leads us down to Quinn's Pavilion, um, right by the uh, river, and it's four miles one way. Long ways up there, Kingman's Dome. Hey, morning everyone. Tuesday morning, out here at the lake, getting the sunrise, just ran back and put Everest in the forearm, his feet were cold standing on this frosty wet ground, so no reason for him to suffer, so coming back 
already been set up. And I forgot the drone anyway, so. Got the drone, put that up. Get some really good pictures. I guess it's beautiful out here. Enjoy. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid from the uh, main road. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
be shot. Hmm. Pretty straight forward there. Won't be going back there. No, I won't. Cherokee National Forest. It's a ways back here, but uh, it's definitely pretty. He has some pretty views. I wouldn't recommend any RVs come up here. She got one that's four wheel drive, short wheelbase. Tables. Huh? No, do oh, not enter that way. I didn't see that one over there. Go by. This campground's a primitive campground. You have vault toilets. Ew. Yeah, they're pretty uh, stinky. <laughs> Haven't been uh, cleaned out for a while. They're clean, but just uh, sewer hasn't been cleaned out for a while. Uh, campsites are pretty much uh, tents, no electricity, no water around here. It's right next to a creek. And I would imagine uh, if you left your stuff out, bears would come by. Because this is definitely in the boonies. Like I said, you're seven miles off the main road into the woods, National Forest. There's probably about 20 sites you can fit a small pop-up in some they're like fifteen dollars a night in minimum stay of 14 maximum of 14 but uh the pay dispenser's gone so i don't know where you would pay if you can pay it online you can pay it online otherwise uh, i'm not sure National Forest 23 to Turtle Town. Turtle Town. Wonder if the Ninja Turtles will be That's there. Right. Ninja All right, coming down the hill off of Road 23, seeing a cement foundation pillars with a rooftop it had grass all over it so we're gonna see what it is because we are out in the Tulis there it is oh, you got a creek it almost looks like it was a, a something of a factory it's got an This is what it is. This isn't the place that I thought of though.
Wow. Don't know what this is or why it was constructed. What you doing? All right, uh, this was an old cement factory where they got, made the cement for the dam, powerhouse. And this was part of it. And we're gonna go down to where it was the McFarland town down the road, the old foundations. But I find that pretty interesting that uh, the trucks come through here and up the hills that we just came down to the uh, dam. That's where the uh, cement was made is here. That's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty interesting. But maybe tomorrow we'll have to go to the powerhouse. Yeah, see what's up with that. Okay, this is the road that goes down to the town. I hope there was a better state back then. It had to be some hellacious trucks. Yeah. So it's like a general. So there's nothing down there that you can see. We walked down the railroad tracks. There's no place to cross over. So, but uh, it's all overgrown. You'd probably have to come here during the fall when there's no foliage. You'd be able to see foundations. That's about it. But it's still pretty interesting. And to get down to uh, McFarland, it's Forest Road 238. Now off to our left of it, of the ridge, along the railroad tracks that we're walking, there's a river on the other side to the left of it. And there's just huge big boulders and rapids going down the uh, river. It's really beautiful. It just with the trees, it's hard to get a view of it. Oh, um, I'm not even gonna try to put the camera on it and video it. You just don't get the same view as we do with the depth perception and everything else. So, just gotta take my word for it, man. That's the top of it, isn't it? This river stream just follows this road all the way through here. This is what you see. So for on that hillside over there, it looks like they had a fire quite a while back. It's trying to grow back. This is really cool. Beautiful drive. Must be spring pipes that's coming out of the worth the drive. Absolutely. This is gorgeous through here. Really clear shots. Mm -hmm. This is really an opportunity to see some beautiful country. Nature at its finest. All right, that was McFarland Road, Forest Road number 23. Awesome. Ooh, look at all the bugs. Yeah. Ladybugs. Yeah. All over. 
Nice house right up there. There are hundreds, if not thousand ladybugs back there enjoying the uh, fall weather. Yep, getting out and stretching their little wings. Hopefully they're not the uh, Chinese ones where they bite you. Chum, 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 chum. Those are not fun. No. Not fun at all. Town. Turtle Town. Everybody off. School. Turtle Town School. Closed. Yeah. Well, it's quite the adventure today. Yeah. Gotta say. Reached 70 degrees. Beautiful. A cloud in the sky. It's a gorgeous day. And an adventurous day. What's up guys? Did you have fun today? Besides Frankie, yeah. who threw up in the car. Yeah. Oh, oh, is it cookie time? Is it cookie time? Who wants cookie? He's gotta eat his food. Coffee, camera, equipment, my best friend. What a beautiful view. This is a way to start a morning. Fog down there, hugging the town. It's beautiful. It's some drone up, but it's kind of windy out here today. I was able to get it up, get the drone up yesterday. That's what I say. Otherwise, somebody's gonna be commenting in a weird way. Hey, morning everyone. Check that out. That is awesome. Loving it. Yeah. Two bars that come to a 
a half of a Y. Mm -hmm. And then you run a cable to them. So that it just gets brushed off. Right. So the to the Appalachian Powerhouse. I believe it's a dam. It's built by McFarland's town. Really pretty back here. Besides the Michelob Ultra. Drunken squirrels. It's like the rain would get pretty wicked through here when it uh, rains. The water. Yeah. Okay, it's a real power station. Wow, cool. Oh my god. That is so pretty. I want to let you guys look what I'm seeing. Off to my left. Check that out. So the pumping water in the air. Yeah, it generates uh, power. But yeah, where is that water coming from? Tennessee has some beautiful country. Hey, this is a beautiful day. What a beautiful view. Man, so cool. No, they're uh, pumping that up. Maybe they are pumping it. Yeah. They're pumping it from someplace. Big cables. Thought my VTR had some big winch cables. Oh, huge. Wow. This is pretty. Yeah. Well, we went back and got the dogs. There's a trail. <laughs> Looks like there's a more road over this way. Hiawasi, Osi, Hiawasi, Hiawasi River.
Is this where you have to flip fish or can you just fish fish? No, you can fish fish. Just like he is. Bumper to bumper, tourist traffic all the time. And what I like about this area is there's not very much traffic at all. The campsites are pretty much packed, I'm sure, in the summertime. But, uh, otherwise, this place isn't very busy. It's very nice. It's quiet. Yes. And if I was going to go camping, visiting the mountains, this is my go-to place, definitely. Truck scared me. And if you're wondering, this is Powerhouse Road. Right off of Highway 30 at Reliance. It's always finding these four leaf clovers. We're on this forest road trail and stumbles right up on it. Wow, such luck. Here's the Frankie. Well, folks, time to call it an adventure. Headed back. I'm glad you come along. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks again. Happy trails. Where's everybody?